Born from the aspect of justice, Kale has taken up her mother's sword and vowed to purge the land of evil in an unrelenting crusade. She increases in power over the course of a game, sending wave after wave of fiery celestial fury to serve the unjust their final judgment. The righteous shall prevail. Welcome to the Kale Champion Spotlight. Kale's passive is Divine Ascent. Over the course of the game, Kale rises closer to her celestial form, increasing the speed, range, and power of her basic attacks. As evil grows, so shall I. At level 1, Kale is fueled by Righteous Fury, and her basic attacks increase her attack speed. At max stacks, Kale becomes exalted and gains movement speed toward enemies. At level 6, Kale flies on two sets of wings, and when exalted, her attacks launch flaming waves that deal bonus damage. At level 11, Kale's helmet comes off and another pair of wings appear, signaling that she now attacks from range. At level 16, Kale transforms into a true champion of justice, wielding two swords, becoming permanently exalted, and dealing true damage with her waves of fire. Kale's E, Starfire Spellblade, has a passive and active effect. Passively, her basic attacks deal bonus magic damage. When activated, Kale's next basic attack becomes ranged and deals a portion of the target's missing health as bonus damage. After ascending to level 6, this attack damages enemies next to the target as well. Kale's Radiant Blast pierces the first enemy hit with light, dealing damage, shredding resistances, and slowing any foe caught in the blast. Celestial Blessing heals Kale and a target allied champion, infusing them both with a burst of speed. It's a short duration buff, so it's better at quickly maneuvering and dodging enemy attacks rather than long term chases. Kale decides who lives and dies. Her Divine Judgment makes a target ally completely invulnerable for a couple seconds, then purifies the area around them with a cascade of shining blades. Kale can move while casting, but can't attack or cast other spells until the swords fall. This means it's often better to ult an ally who can dive the enemy team instead of using it on yourself. You'll save them from certain death and massively damage foes at the same time. In order for Kale to truly mete out justice, she must ascend to her final form as quickly as possible. However, her weak early game can be hell, so you'll need to play safe to avoid becoming superfood. Rely on Radiant Blast and Starfire Spellblade to farm from range. If you stray too close, or try to wing it in a fight, you'll be butchered where you stand. Calling on allies for aid can spare you the worst of your rough early game. Use Divine Judgment for a clutch intervention, then turn the fight in your favor and get the kill. The Righteous really shines once she reaches level 11 and starts to outscale enemies. Tower dives are no trouble thanks to Divine Judgment, and your rapid-fire attacks will melt enemies easily. Exaltations all around. Once Kale's Apotheosis is complete, take your crusade across the map for the final victory. Lead your own team into the fray, protecting critical allies while condemning your enemies to a swift execution. You'll win the team fight just as you planned. <laughs> If you want a glorious paladin who eventually becomes a godlike agent of punishment, rise with Kale and serve them justice. For more info on the Righteous and her fallen sister, soar to the links below. And remember kids, Kale is good for you. Spinach is better.